Hey y'all, it's Jordan here. So I thought I would give a short demonstration of uh, how resampling is very effective. Uh, I usually work in Reason and I have this drum loop that I have and it won't play for some reason, but That's the drum loop I made in Reason. Now the reason, <laughs> the reason why I didn't warp this is because um, it does something odd to the warping fixture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive into this clip and every time I see a hit of a note, I'm going to double click to create a warp marker. Now what this warp marker will do is uh, every time it hits, it would create a short little MIDI clip for that note. Make sure I'm getting further in so that way I'm not assigning a part that doesn't have sound to it. Like I'll just get the, the clip or an end of a note like here. <laughs> so I'm just, whoop, don't want to do that. What I did is I dragged and double click the note at the same time like that right there I'm only gonna get a few I'm only gonna get up to nine bars or eight bars but it's actually nine I did it again I'm just double clicking this time I'm not dragging or anything but what I don't understand is why Ableton doesn't already do this I don't know if I have a messed up copy. It's always been like this though. Whenever I'd say, oh, loop from here. And it would not loop from here. Anyways, now that I have all those points, I'm going to go to the very first loop marker. Right click and let's see, it should be sliced to MIDI track. Yep, right here. Warp marker, press OK. And it'll build all the slices from, the, from those warp markers. Now what I can do with this, instead of having an audio track, I can go in here and make my own little dubstep track, dubstep drums, from what I resampled. I'm turn this on, and I'm going to turn on forts. There, now we have a simple two bar loop. The only problem with this, it's not hitting fast enough, so I'm going to turn up the release time and the decay time. And it's hitting kind of kind of weird, so I'm going to look for a better... 6 is perfect. That's very basic and all, so I'm going to change this to 8 and add a double beat. And go to 16th and find a hi-hat. So 27 has it. It sounds very choppy, but if you add like reverb and stuff like that. That sounds a lot better. But let's say I want to create something that's a little bit more intense, like for for bass-wise. I'm not going to use sampler, I'm going to use simpler. Simpler is a lot uh, less heavy processed on your computer like what I have. So I have this bass track, and it probably won't play. So. That sounds pretty cool and all, but the problem with this is I want it to hit harder than this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that sample in here. I'm going to loop it into Simpler. Stop that clip from playing and I'm going to create just a basic C note. And I'm going to just play it for 
however long this is. Okay, right off the bat, I'm going to assign this a filter. Turn up the LFO all the way. I'm going to assign this as a triangle wave and turn it on 1 16th. And assign this to LP low pass filter 24. Right then and there, you know you have a good base when you can. Sorry about that. I just got a call from my grandparents because I usually take out their trash on Monday. And I've been working very heavily on uh, just homework. Anyways, uh, this base that we have, I detuned it uh, 12 semitones. That's probably not a good idea. Anyways, so I have a low pass filter, frequency, three fifths, and resonance. resonance. Uh, one fourth just the basic stuff and I put turned up the spread to about 50% so now I work in Ableton 3.4 8.3.4 I want to add a amp on this uh, my special mod growl from EQ8 and a limiter at the end I'm going to turn off the EQ8 and I'm going to browse through the different amps to see which most distortion I can get. Right now I have a dual output. So right now I got a lead sound, lead amp, and that sounds pretty good. Now I turn on my EQ8. Now I'm going to drag this clip over to the session. And I'm going to just loop it. And for the automation, uh, I'm going to turn on EQ8 frequency A and create its own lane for that. Now, the reason why I'm going to do this is because this, as it sweeps through this filter's uh, frequency, it's going to evolve. And that's what I want to happen. I'm also going to take this first clip and duplicate it across. So that way we have a constant sound to keep going. Now I'm going to mess with this EQ and I'm probably going to create saw waves first just right off the bat so that way you can hear what it's doing. And the reason why I created its own lane is because you can copy automation. But I want to find a sound that works for it. That works, so I'm going to duplicate this across, take every other one and copy it and paste, copy and paste, so like this, just like that. Now if we have to listen, we'll start to understand uh, what the EQ does. It sounds a lot better, and if we have a our drums going, I'm also going to turn on a compressor for the drums and do a very special trick that I like to use, and that is a analog trick. And I'm going to just turn on a saturator and put on sinefold and turn on soft clip. Already you can hear that it's much brighter. So, this is cool and all, but I want to add a little bit more randomness to it. So I'm going to go over here to the start and I'm going to just click on it. And right now it created it's already another lane. And I'm going to just add another lane for this automation. And I'm going to zoom in. Let me turn on one fourths. And I'm going to assign each start position a different place to start within this loop. Now let's have a listen. Sounds 
so it already has a very defiant sound about it that's cool but let's say I want to add let me listen to this begin again okay yeah so this loop this part right here is very cool very prompt so I'm gonna start at the very beginning paste that in there now I'm gonna double click so that way it creates a sweep but the problem with this is um, you need to have a much larger sweep and it's not even that prompt so I'm gonna go pretty short I'm going to 16th here and duplicate this across The problem with this now is that it's sweeping so fast it's not even, you can't hear it. So I'm going to try and sweep it across much larger scale. Okay, so my hypothesis is right, you just need to create points instead of sweeping. Because the sweeping works with the EQ not so much as the start. Now if you want to get even crazier with this, what you can do is you can uh, double time this. So that way when you go into 16th, you will have a much rapid more scale. That's how to create your very crazy bass. Just remember, don't go too crazy outside the box, otherwise your song will sound horrible. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.